selling an investment property with tenant occupied is not easy. There are some investors who are looking for a turnkey type of property, but even that's not easy. A lot of times what I see is realtors are listing a property that is tenant occupied and they say drive by only. You can't make an appointment, you can't go see it. Probably because the tenants don't want to move out, they don't want to help to sell the property, obviously, and they don't allow showings. So the notes in the remarks for realtors says drive by only, do not disturb tenants, and we will only show the property after the homeowner or the seller accepts an offer. Imagine buying a property that you can't even see and only then make an offer on something. Now, if you are an investor and you are looking for a turnkey, that may be something that okay for you. You may just do the numbers. If the tenant's a good tenant, good paying history, then you might just say, hey, what the hell? I'll take a look at it after I make a deal just to visit the property inside and maybe even to meet the tenants, right? But in this case scenario, we have very low inventory. There's a lot of end user buyers who are looking for homes and because it's not enough inventory these buyers decided to buy this property of course the request is that the property would be delivered vacant at the time of the closing which is fine I mean the tenants know these tenants particularly were really amazing to work with I couldn't have asked for anything more yes they have I mean showings was a little bit difficult because we couldn't really show any time that a showing request was submitted because it's not the seller and they not going to go out of their way to make it easy to get showings in but to be honest with you they worked and cooperated with me and I'm very grateful for that and my sellers too because it would have been quite a challenge to get this property sold with the tenants what am I going to tell you after 30 days of being on the market, we had a good amount of showings and altogether I had three offers. They all came at the same time. We went back and forth. Two of the offers had contingencies and they were selling a house and then wanted to move in to this one. And then that would create a little bit an uneasy situation because what if the tenants don't find an apartment for themselves to move in exactly at the time when these buyers who had a contingency would close on their property now these people would be homeless right so then it, it creates a chain reaction right but one of the offers was an end user buyer first time home buyer and they've been in the market for a very long time their budget is very tight although they have very good credit very good jobs w2 everything is clear they qualify but the problem is there's no inventory so they've been beaten multiple times myself my clients felt that this is probably the best choice these buyers have been looking for a house for like two years now and every time they find a home that they can afford somebody else overbids them and they can't get themselves a house speaking to my client seller we felt that because of that reason they are committed to this process and because they live in an apartment and they're renting they probably have the ability to wait if need be for the tenants to find another place to live and move to tell you the truth it's very important if you are a owner of a property and you're looking to sell and it has tenants then you don't really know if a good offer is going to be from an end user or an investor you're going to limit yourself to either or you want to expose yourself to all right because that's what where you're going to get the best possible price and terms it's very important to hire a realtor who understands that as a listing agent my client the seller is not not only my client the seller because the tenants they need to be serviced and taken care of also it's very important to make sure that you ask your potential listing agent have they sold properties with tenants and how did it go were they able to get showings in and stuff like that because we got showings in and we got multiple offers that's like very cool so I'm about to go in to meet with the tenants and let them know that we have accepted an offer and now they're gonna have to kind of like accelerate the process of them really finding a place to move into pack and stuff like that it's a lot if you ever 
had to move from a house or even an apartment, you know this is a lot of work, packing and stuff like that. And while I'm there, I am also going to, I have that buyer's agent on standby waiting for me to get on the phone with them and try to schedule a home inspection for this new buyer while I'm there and get everybody on board to make that first step go forward. Selling a house with tenants, it's a process, you know, you gotta be patient, personable, you have to earn trust, you have to keep your word. This is how it went though. So I actually spent over an hour with them. So I told them about the process. I told them that the seller accepted an offer, that we need to do a home inspection. And I got the buyer's agent on the line and we set up an inspection. Even though initially the tenant refused specific days when it was for showing appointments, they actually did allow an inspection. So when that was a good one. I sat down with them, explained to them the process, what's gonna be next. The key here is it's important for me as the listing agent to make sure that we can get in when we need to get in. We need to do home inspection. At some point, there's gonna be an appraisal. I need to get the tenants on board, make sure that they're up, running around, looking for a new place to live, and that everything will be smooth. Everything went well. So here we are selling a house with tenants. We did the showings, the marketing, multiple offer situations, got an offer accepted. I'm actually going right now to conduct a home inspection. The buyers are getting a home inspector. We're selling it as is, but they should get a home inspection because they want to know what they're getting themselves into. And I would not want them to not do one. So I'm going to meet the buyers, hopefully their agent and the home inspector. And of course the tenants will be there. And so it's important for me to be there because I need to see if there's any serious issues that will possibly prompt the buyers to back out of the deal. They still can't do that, even though they're buying the house as is. And also want to see their attitude, reaction, and at the same time, while the home inspection is going on, and as the listing agent working for my clients, I have to be their eyes and ears. And if something come up in the future, I was there to know whether or not a situation occurred or not. So that's really important that when you are working with a listing agent that you hire to sell a house that's an investment with tenants, without tenants, doesn't matter. Your realtor should, it is recommended, should absolutely be there on your behalf or even if you're there, still be there. Let's see how it goes. If you have a house with tenants that you need to sell or having a hard time selling, very important to get yourself the help of a realtor who has experience in handling these very delicate and complex sales. My channel is about complexities, especially when it comes to being behind on a mortgage, financial situation in real estate. My goal is to help as many homeowners keep their house, and if not, then at least save themselves from a foreclosure. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like this video. If you have any comments, I would love to hear your comments. And by the way, if you're ever thinking about selling your house for cash quickly, I'm gonna put a link down below. You can get multiple offers within 24 hours. With absolutely no obligation. I think you should check it out. Thank you so much for joining me and I will keep you posted.